Okay. All right, we are good to go. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is having a great Friday. Um, I'm Coach Emily. I'm our registered dietitian here at Fit and Fulfilled. And today I have with me the wonderful Rhonda. Um, she's a great client of mine. Uh, Rhonda, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. So, hi, my name is Rhonda Suko. I live in um, Texas in a small town, and I am a teacher. I teach um, reading intervention and special education. Um, so it's a very mentally demanding job. I help students who are actually usually multiple years behind and uh, behind grade level in both reading and writing. And I, I work with students, it might be gen ed or it might be students um, with disabilities. Awesome. That's really cool. That's a definitely a, a challenging, but very probably rewarding career. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so Rhonda, just before we get into things with your time on the team, um, do you want to just tell us a little bit of the background of where you were be before coming on to Fit and Fulfilled? Sure. Um, so I am probably... Uh, I, I have dieted and kind of worked out kind of my whole life. Um, starting way back when I was an early teenager and um, started with, you know, counting, counting portions and, and calories and everything has been very restrictive. Um, so as I got into adulthood, then, you know, you started seeing kind of the, the paleo or not the paleo, but the Atkins and the keto and then intermittent fasting. Um, I've done some other um, kind of celebrity type things that I think we saw them with the biggest losers. Some of those people did spinoffs into their own diets. So I've done kind of everything. Um, and got to a point, I guess, with my age and because I was restricting myself so much and the exercises that I were doing were uncoordinated with my diet that nothing was working anymore. And I was just really stuck and I was getting very frustrated and I would go to doctors and they'd give me a restrictive program to do. And um, it would work for maybe about 10 pounds. And then after that 10 pounds, I go back and so then they restrict it some more. And that was kind of the pattern of restrict. And then, okay, once that stops working, let's restrict some more. At some point, you can only restrict so much. And so I want to say I was probably living on a thousand to 1200 calories a day at the most at, on a good day. I mean, there were days that I didn't even hit that. I wasn't eating breakfast, eating a very minimal lunch. Um, so anyway, so that's really hard to maintain, especially when you have a very mentally, physically and mentally demanding job. And plus, I, also, I didn't mention, but I also have five children um, and I have grandchildren and I have dogs. So the life that I wanted was a lot more active than what I was able to sustain. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that kind of leads into my next question of just like how overall was like your quality of life when you were trying these diets? Well, A, I was hungry all the time, obviously. Um, mentally, I would, I would, by about midday, I would just feel very jittery and like just have these anxiety type feelings. And um, by the time I would get home in the evening, I would, you know, I would just kind of plop on the couch. I was done for the day and there was not much activity after work. And um, I don't know, I just didn't feel good. And even, and I was really, really frustrated, Emily, because I was, I really was doing everything I thought I was supposed to do, but I kept gaining more and more weight and, you know, got to the, the range of, you know, what would be considered obese, even though I was trying to be a healthy person. And um, I did notice myself kind of as in the last five years, maybe a little bit more that I started to not participate in some activities because of either how I looked or because I was afraid I was going to get hurt. And um, I just really felt like my mobility was starting to suffer. And, um, you know, things like ice skating, some of those simple things that I used to do when my children were little, now that my grandchildren are doing them, I was kind of, going, oh, you know, I think I'm going to sit this out and not really participating in life as much as I really wanted to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what would you say was like your breaking point or what made you decide to like invest in making that change? Well, it... <laughs> So I was going to, I was trying to figure it out. I was trying to find the answers. And um, one of my daughters was going to school. She was um, 
getting her master's in sports management and she came home over Christmas time and she was telling me about this guy that she was going to school with who was getting his degree in dietetics and was also a personal trainer and I was like oh my gosh that's what I need you know and so I was like would he take me on and she goes well probably not he's really busy and so at that point I knew at least what I needed Mm -hmm. you know and so um so then when I found Jen and and you then it was like okay this is what I knew I needed um I was kind of at the point honestly before that conversation with my daughter where I was getting ready to go for surgery I was I was that desperate to find answers but I didn't want to go that route unless I absolutely had to because I knew that it was really going to affect my health as far as nutrition um I just didn't feel like that was necessarily the healthiest option mm -hmm. it's it, an unhealthy option to try and get healthy if that makes sense yeah, no, that's absolutely. And I feel like everyone gets to that point where they think, you know, surgery or those like things are the answer, but then we kind of learn, um, obviously you've learned through the program, um, of what we really need to do. So what would you say has changed in your life, your overall health, your overall physique since <laughs> coming on to the program? Oh, okay. The list is long. And then <laughs> the best thing is I can actually eat, you know, I'm not restricted to just one food group. I'm not restricted to just eating enough to barely get throughout the day. I'm, and I hope I can share this, but I'm eating almost 1800 calories a day and losing weight. That is huge. I don't think I've ever eaten this much food in my entire life. And so that's just the freedom of just being able to enjoy food, um, going to family events and not sitting there and picking apart, you know, and just, oh, I can have this little bit of lettuce and I can have this, you know, this tomato and I can have some spinach and I'll have a little bit of, of bland chicken. But other than that, you know, I'm going to avoid everything else that everybody else is enjoying. And um, so over Thanksgiving was huge. I enjoyed Thanksgiving this year. I enjoyed Christmas. That was huge. And um, so as far as the food, that that part is great. But I'm also getting stronger um so like going into the gym I feel very confident and then that confidence then carries into other areas of my life I'm okay taking physical risks again um which I like I said um you know a few years ago I wouldn't have done that I wouldn't have gone on the playground with or gone on to the like the playscapes with my granddaughters I would have been too afraid of a I'm gonna look funny and b I'm gonna get hurt and c I'm not gonna be able to do any of this I'm not sitting on the sidelines anymore um but the, just for me the biggest thing I mean I ser seriously was a chronic dieter and the biggest blessing for me is the fact that this is actually working and it's sustainable um and just the the support that you guys give it guys after so i have to tell the story so after christmas i did enjoy christmas i enjoyed it fully <laughs> and but after christmas i had a hard time getting back on track and so emily was so sweet i texted her every morning and told her how the day before went you know because sometimes i might get to that night and be fine but then in the middle of the night i might wake up and have a cookie or some chips or something so she became my daily accountability partner and helped me get through that and get back on track um, and I really, I think I really didn't suffer too much, like as far as the program, would you agree, Emily? Yeah, no, okay. not at all. I mean, even though I kind of took a nice break there, um, <laughs> we were able to get back on track. And that's like, you've had the guidance and like the understanding right. where you learned like, hey, life happens, holidays happen. It's not, it's not a perfect journey. That's, I think the biggest thing. And like, it's how we work through that together. Um, and you've definitely, definitely shown that. <laughs> well, and that's another thing that like in the past and y'all talk about, you know, we always expect this perfect downward graph mm -hmm. and but y'all talk about the fact that no, that's not. So when the scale goes up, I don't panic anymore. It doesn't ruin my entire day. I know, okay, this is just part of what I'm doing. And tomorrow, maybe, maybe not tomorrow, maybe three days from now, it's going to go back down and it's fine. It's, it's nothing to panic about. I don't need to restrict anymore. I just keep going, keep doing what I've been doing because it works. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love that you have understood that. Um, that's definitely a challenging thing that people um, struggle with. Um, what would you say like has been the most helpful part of the program that's led you to be so successful? Um, the fact that it's individualized mm -hmm. helps tremendously. So 
yeah so yeah you meet you met me where I am mm -hmm. and you know where I'm trying to go and you're you're with me every step of the way to get there um there's so much about this program I like the community of other people who are doing this with us I like the fact that even though I have you're my coach but I can still reach out to Jen I still learn from Laura I you know I still learn mm -hmm. from all of you and it's just this amazing community um, but I also like the fact that it's integrated. It's, you know, because a lot of times in this industry, it's diet or exercise, but you guys have put it together. So it works together. So one's not working against the other, but they're complementing each other. Yeah, absolutely. And that's something too. It's like, it, it they do need to go together. There's something that they are going to play off of each other. Um, and you've done a great job learning in both areas, um, which has also led to your success for sure. Um, so were you skeptical of joining our team? And if obviously what ultimately made you um, join the team? So, well, because I found y'all on social media. So, I mean, just right there, there's a whole level of skepticism. Um, mm -hmm. So I just kind of, I kind of looked into it. I talked to somebody, I don't remember who I talked to, but I spoke with somebody. Um, and then I just kind of sat back and I watched and I waited. And I looked and I was like, okay, no, this seems genuine. This seems legitimate. You know, so, I mean, to be honest, that was kind of a stumbling block for me. Um, but now I realize the beauty of it because otherwise I never would have found y'all because none of y'all, none of the coaches are where I am. So mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's a beautiful thing that, um, I mean, we have coaches, what, in England and, you know, we have coaches all <laughs> over. Yeah. Um, so it's really a beautiful thing. So that was the first stumbling block. And then for us, I'm a teacher, obviously I don't make a lot of money. So the financial part was a stumbling block for me. And so I was like, you know, what? I don't, I, I can't afford it. I just can't afford it. And then I watched Jen, one of, she had made a video and talking about, okay, instead of saying, I can't say, how can I? And so I changed my thinking in that. Um, and so I was like, okay, so how can I afford it? And then, I mean, like within an hour, I had a solution and um, put the wheels in motion and signed up. So that's, I want to add to that's another thing that I think is such a benefit of this program is it is so holistic. It's not just the diet. It's not just the fitness. It's also the way we talk to ourselves and um, the way we look at life um, and, and y'all really get to know us and our personalities and what makes us tick and how those things might be tripping us up as far as our journey. So I don't know. It's just, a, it's really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love that. Um, one, and this makes me think of, um, when you said like, ultimately you were skeptical of joining, I re actually remember, I don't know if you remember this, our first phone call, um, you, where you had started kind of implementing stuff Jen had talked about and posted. Um, and I do remember you coming in cause we, we did that, like a little bit of that calorie increase, but you had already started it. Um, and I think that shows, you know, not only were you excited to join, but you started to already put that trust in there. Cause you had tried and you had realized like, Hey, I can implement this, but I know I'm going to benefit so much more if I just join as well. Well, it, there's just a knowledge base that I don't have, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I know a lot about restricting, <laughs> but I don't know a lot about fueling my body. Mm -hmm. And I knew that I was going to need somebody to help me and guide me along the way and show me, you know, I would have messed it up so much if I tried to do it. Myself. I mean, I would have, I would have added more calories and then I would have very quickly restricted because I was so excited to get to that cut part. Right. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know how long to be in any of the phases. I didn't, I didn't, I needed a guide seriously. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. I always say my favorite thing as a dietitian is to tell people you can eat more. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so who would you say in your opinion, this program is for? Okay, so obviously for people who are my generation who have been living, you know, because when I was a kid, the whole super skinny was in style, you know, and mm -hmm. so a lot of us, I think in my generation have been starving ourselves for decades at this point. Um, so certainly somebody like me, but I would also say, you know, if I could go back and talk to myself when I was a young teenager and tell myself what I know now, I would give myself this knowledge. So I really think it's for everybody. So whether you're a chronic dieter like I was or just getting started, 
do it the right way the first time, you Mm -hmm. know, so that you can learn right the first time and not have to live a lot, half, you know, half a life of um, sacrificing and not enjoying and living life to its absolute, absolute fullest. So mm-hmm. fit and fulfilled, you know, it's, there's a reason why y'all call it that. <laughs> That's great. That's absolutely great. Cause it's true. You know, there are so many areas of that you could, you know, look back and see what we could fill, how we could fill that up. Um, so anything else that you would like to share about your pro, uh, your journey, the program, anything um, else? No, I just, I, it's really, really liberating. Um, mm-hmm. I have, you know, I have more energy now. Um, because of my job, I still get mentally tired, but physically I am able to go, you know, from the time I get up in the morning until the time I go to bed at night, if I need to. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's just, I don't know. I just feel like my life is so much more fulfilled. And I, you know, I, in one of my check-ins, I said, I look like groove from yeah. despicable me. Um, I don't anymore. You know, I actually have a, a, a female shape again. So that's pretty awesome. It's just, I don't know. I, I wish that, um, I, I wish that everybody at some point gets access to what y'all have given me. Cause it's pretty incredible. Yeah, well, we are very glad to have you on our team. Um, I'm very excited. You know, we are only only starting your journey or partway through your journey. So we have definitely a lot of time. Um, but thank you so, so much for getting on this call and kind of just sharing your journey. Um, and thank you to everyone who is listening. Um, Rhonda is a great part of our team. Um, so if you guys are interested, just like being amazing like she is, um, absolutely, um, you know where to find us. <laughs> All right, well, we will hop off here. Um, But thanks again, Rhonda. Thanks, Emily. See ya. Bye.